What is up guys, Photo Fever here, and welcome back to another Tuesday Two Minute Tutorial. Now today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create this really cool glossy text effect that you can apply to logos, but also text within Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. So the first thing you want to do guys is just go ahead and open up a blank text document in Photoshop. So I wanna go ahead and open up this blank document here. Now obviously it's white at the moment, so we're gonna go ahead and color it black. We can do this by going to our adjustment layers icon found in the bottom right hand corner. We're gonna go ahead and choose solid color. And I'm gonna go ahead and just choose a darker gray. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use text document this time. I'm gonna go ahead and click and I'm just gonna go ahead and type in glossy like so. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. Then I want to move it into the middle, so I'm gonna go ahead and press Command T or free transform. And I'm gonna go ahead and make it the size and also position that I want it to be. So I'm gonna have it looking like so. Now what we need to do is add the glossy effect. So what I'm gonna do is gonna to go to our layout stylizing box. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click on our uh, text layer here or your logo layer. And the first one we want to do is we want to go ahead and add in a stroke. So I'm gonna to go to our stroke level here. I'm gonna add in a stroke of three uh, pixels. I'm gonna have the position on the outside. I'm gonna have the blending mode of normal and I'm gonna go ahead and choose a opacity of 100%. The color we want to choose is basically black. So we'll go ahead and choose black like so. Next down, we're gonna go ahead and add an inner glow. So the inner glow is going to represent the color we're going to be choosing. And I'm going to be choosing an overall color of blue, but we'll change that in a second. So we're gonna to go to our blending mode. We're gonna choose overlay. We're gonna choose our opacity of 70%. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and choose a nice bright blue. And the color I'm choosing today is 00DEFF. -E and I'm gonna go ahead and click it like so. Then I'm gonna to go to the size. I'm going to choose seven pixels. I am going to leave the stroke as zero. And then I'm gonna choose the contouring. If you go ahead and click in that, I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one here, which is found near the bottom left-hand side. Then I'm gonna choose the range of this. I'm gonna choose 50%. Now we need to color it, and we're going to use a gradient to add a glossy look to it. So we're going to go to our gradient overlay here. We're going to go to our blending mode first. We're going to go choose normal, and we're going to have opacity of 100% because we want to completely co uh, color it. Then we just need to choose two colors. So in this particular case, I'm choosing a dark blue, and then I'm going to go ahead and choose a bright blue, and I'm going to go ahead and select it like so. And as you can see, the bright blue is at the top and the dark blue is at the bottom. If you want to swap that, go to your angle here, and you can go ahead and change that like so. So after you've done all of that, all you need to do now is simply click OK. But we want this line in the middle to make it look like it's reflective. We can do this by firstly going to our rectangle tool found on the left hand side and just drag and create a rectangle. I want it roughly going through the middle. What I want to do is have the stroke uh, nothing, so I don't want a stroke. And I'm going to go ahead and just add white. So all you'll have is basically a rectangle over the edge of your text. What I want you to do is hold down Command click that text layer, so we're actually selecting it. And what I'm gonna do is go down to the bottom right hand side and I'm gonna go ahead and create a layer mask. And what it'll do is it'll create a layer mask over the text and it'll apply it to our rectangle. And then all you'll need to do is simply go to your blending mode, drop it down to screen and go to your opacity and go to 35%. And as you can see, we've now created this really cool glossy effect. And it works on text like we've done here, but it also works on logos as well. So go give it a go. Here is the before. And here is the after.